everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care of You, and this is just a quick video to show you uh, the notify function in Power Apps. So this is how you get your success message, your error message, your warning message, and your information message. Now I'm just going to quickly look over to the documentation, the Microsoft documentation here. I'll put a link to this in the description. Um, but as you can see, this is the notify function. And this is where you can see some things around that. So you've got your, you, you put your message, your notification type, and then you can also put a timeout section that as well. So we'll just go back to this page. So I'm just going to demo this. I've already set these up. You've got your success message. This is a success message. Your error message. This is an error message. Your warning message. There's your warning message. And then your information message. And how you can do that is I'll now just go into the code. So when I click onto the success, so as you can see here, we've got the notify function. So this is just notify, open brackets. You put in your inverted commas what you want the message to show. And then for the next, after the comment, you've got your notification type. So this is where you have your success. Or if you see the error, you've got notification type dot error, dot warning, and dot information. So that's how you change the type of the success message. Also, as you can see on these first two, we've got the uh, the time on that as well. So we've got the timeout after 5,000. And uh, yeah, so this is just a quick video to show you how you can put that. I'll put these in the description as well. Um, but yeah, please like and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Thank you.